Hi, I'm Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of ExploringLasVegas.com. And I'm standing here in front of the newly renovated Sahara Hotel. And you're probably checking out this video because you're interested in a Zillow, the ultra pool at the Sahara, and maybe interested in buying some bottle service. So if you're new to buying bottle service or you're new to buying bottle service in Vegas in general, this video is for you. And let's go ahead and get started. So a Zillow is the new ultra pool at the uh, Sahara here. And it's a beautiful pool. Actually, they did a really nice job on this pool. And and uh, as I talk about it, I'll kind of flash the, uh, the sections of the pool so you can understand what uh, you're possibly getting yourself into uh, for a great event over here. The sound system, by the way, is amazing. Uh, you're going to have a strict dress code here. You're going to have to wear pool attire. There's not going to be any shorts or any uh, shorts like khaki uh, shorts or jean shorts, if you will. That will not be allowed. No pants. It's got to be swim attire, guys. So, uh, ladies, you can pretty much wear what you want. Have a cover-up because you got to go in and out of the pool through the casino, so you're going to want a cover-up. Okay, so that's important. Uh, when it comes to uh, security, obviously they're gonna have a tight security here. You're gonna wanna go through and make sure you don't have anything like a loose pill, like a loose Adderall or something. Uh, that could get you in trouble. Uh, weed is still not legal in the pools here because they're in a casino and the casinos operate under federal license even though it is legal in Nevada, okay? Now, as far as the pools go, uh, they have like a bunch of different sections that are actually really good, uh, actually impressive. So I think we'll start with the, uh, obviously you got the stage where the DJ is going to be and in front of the stage you have some like lounge chairs and whatnot. Now those are going to be there unless they got like a bigger name DJ or an artist and uh, you know, they'll be available for uh, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 to $75 depending on the day. Uh, that's a beverage minimum so you pay 50 to $75 in minimum spent. So that goes toward the, um, you know, food and beverage that you drink. Uh, the $75 isn't just like a sunk cost that you're paying like a rental, okay? It actually goes towards something. Now, um, <clears throat> the next level up is going to be like your lily pads. Now, on the right and the left of the main pool, there's like these uh, red circular lily pads. and. Uh, those are gonna be good for like six people or so. And there's a couple of them that are in the water that are gonna be more considered like the prime lily pads. And then um, they're gonna be pretty reasonably priced for groups of, uh, you know, either like four to six people, they're perfect for that, okay? They're pretty uh, pretty nice located centrally in the pool area, uh, either to the right or the left or actually in the pool to the right and the left. Now the next level up from that is your, uh, your day beds, okay? Now there's day beds in the main pool, kind of along the one, uh, all along the one side, and they're actually in the pool. So the day beds are actually in the pool, and you can actually stand in the pool, like maybe up to your, just below your knees, and then the day bed is, is there. So uh, those are gonna be a little bit more expensive than the lily pads. Uh, they're prime, they're right in the pool, and uh, they're perfect for groups of, say, six to eight people. Now you also have a, a row of day beds um, over to the left, to the right of the DJ, if you will, and they're gonna be by a smaller uh, spa, and those are gonna be called the spa, spa day beds. Okay, so those are considered more like a little bit VIP, if you will, but they're not in the water. So there's day beds that are not in the water by the spa. All right, the next level up from that is you got your cabanas. Okay, and the cabanas are awesome. They got a very nice couch inside. They got plenty of room. They got obviously big TVs, and uh, it, they look nice compared to a lot of the other places in Vegas. These are some of the nicer ones I've seen. And uh, the nice thing about them is they have like a very wide pool that's shared for all the cabanas. But then on each side, they kind of have a like a little spa. Okay, and then in between the spa, there's some a uh, couple day beds that are available for rental. If you don't want to get a cabana, you can get a couple of the day beds up in the VIP, uh, if you will. So uh, they're, they're nice. The cabanas pretty much all have access to the pools and uh, you really can't uh, beat the value of these cabanas for what they cost uh, compared to some of the other big pools in town. Uh, you got some really nice, really nice spots up here and uh, very reasonably priced. Now you also have uh, the bungalows, which is the next step up. There's actually, I think, three of the bungalows and they actually have a really wide pool that's shared for the three bungalows, but they're really nice, okay? They're, they're very large and they have a lot of room. I'd say groups of 20, 25 would be fine up there. And like I said, the pool is actually very wide, which is very nice for having a bungalow with a very wide pool and a lot of space uh, to share kind of with your other bungalow neighbors. Uh, but overall, the, the place is very well done. Uh, I was actually very impressed with how they did this place and I think it's going to do pretty well. Uh, they got a good guy, uh, manager here, general manager, his name's Steve. Uh, he used to work over at Flamingo and he's going to bring, bring in some talent. And I think overall, this place is going to do pretty good. I really like the uh, place. I think it's going to get a good vibe. It's not too big, but it's also not too small. I think their capacity is somewhere around 1,800, and uh, they can, you know, have a good party in here with like 900. Okay, so it's not quite as large as like uh, the defunct Chaos, if you will, or Encore Beach or Wet Republic, and you can still pack a pretty good party in here with 800, 900 people. 
So uh, pretty excited for the uh, Zillow Ultra Pool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more uh, content like this on the uh, you know fun stuff to do in Vegas, the pool parties, the nightclubs, strip clubs, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm Brian Pfeiffer, and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll talk soon. Thanks.